What's up guys, it's your local Realized man checking in once again in the Realized car. And today's video I want to talk about dirty bulking, right? And whether it works or not. For those of you that don't know what dirty bulking is, it's basically when you don't really give a shit, you don't really give too many fucks about how many calories you're taking in. The basic premise behind bulking is that if you're in a caloric surplus, which basically means that you're eating more food than you're burning, right? Than your body's burning throughout the day. Your body gets into the environment that's conducive of building muscle. So the notion behind daily bulking is the bigger this caloric surplus or the more food you get in, the more muscle you build, right? Almost seems logical if you're using a logic-based reasoning, but that's not um, how things work, right? What people have to understand is your body is going to build muscle at its own rate. You can't force it unless you take something... Um, exogenous like something external like anabolic steroids right if you're doing this naturally your body's going to build muscle at its own rate so given the right environment a caloric surplus more than that going any further more than what you need to isn't really going to do anything besides build more fat right your body's going to see all these calories coming in it's going to say okay we need this much to build muscle sweet the rest of this we're going to store as fat right because your body's a survival mechanism and wants to survive it needs to store fat the way it's looking at things is, look, we have all these resources. Let's keep some for a rainy day when we might need them. It doesn't care about your bodybuilding goals. It doesn't care about your aesthetic goals, right? So dirty bulking doesn't work. And if you want the best example of this, look at um, Frank Yang, this YouTuber um, who did this 8,000 a day caloric um, bulk. And he got really massive and then he cut down the weight and... If you look at him these days, he's not even really that much bigger, right? So you can't cheat it, right? There's nothing that's going to work more than just dedicated time in the gym. If you spend time in the gym, you're getting stronger, you're getting better. You're in this slight caloric surplus. You're going to make your gains. You can't force this. And forcing things isn't really going to work the way you think it's going to work. I've tried it before. I've tried dirty bulking. I've tried making those thousand calorie shakes that you always see people make on the internet. It's calling them down. It's, it's terrible, right? You're just going to spend just as much time losing the fat. And the thing you have to realize about losing fat is when you're losing fat, you're also going to lose muscle, right? Regardless of how strict your diet is, you're going to lose a bit of muscle. So at the end of the day, you're going to end up wasting so much time time that you could just spend in a lean muscle building phase right just building lean muscle and getting better that way and not to mention that it's not healthy too it takes energy and effort for your organs to process all this food so if you're eating a huge amount of food that that's just not healthy for you guys so dirty bulking is a piece of shit it's a it's a it's kind of like a, it's actually the way it was made or kind of presented to the public was by old school bodybuilders that were taking steroids of course right and when people saw these guys getting huge and massive naturally people asked okay how are you getting so massive and these guys would say i'm eating six seven days and six seven meals a day i'm eating eight meals a day and people would believe that right it's a good excuse that people believed that justify these people's size no one wants to admit that they're taking steroids no one wants to admit that they're this big because of something outside of them so that's how the whole myth came about then the supplement industry kind of propagated it just made this huge thing these guys you see that you that are just massive j color phil heath they're not that big because of bulking they're that big because of steroids but i'm going off tangent guys daily bulking doesn't work let's end the video i'll be seeing you guys soon peace after how many years you start using steroids i ain't never using no steroids So uh, if you want to be my best friend, make sure you click post notifications when you subscribe so that you get notified as soon as I make a video. It's going to be great. We're going to be best friends. We're going to be best buddies. We're going to be pals or pals and best buddies. And you can see my videos and I can see your comments and likes. And it's, going to be, it's, going to be, it's going to be great. It's going to be, it's going to be really great. Yeah.